Hey guys, Samuel and Audrey here, and today we're taking you on a surprise trip. So technically, this was meant to be a surprise getaway for Sam as a belated birthday celebration, but there was just one little problem. Issue is that I don't love surprises. I was trying to throw Sam off the scent with another supposed tiny house stay, but with his mounting questions and growing suspicions about my lack of grocery shopping and getting the car ready for this trip, I ended up revealing the surprise the night before. So I'm gonna tell Sam on camera because he's been pestering me for mm -hmm. days now. I have been. About where we're going, this what is, we're doing. This is a true story. I found a luxury hotel in downtown Toronto that oh. has a sale, number one, and number two is offering free room upgrades. Wow. Okay, so, so we are that's going, where we're to going to Toronto. Tomorrow. Yeah. Nice. And when's the last time you were in the city? <laughs> <laughs> three or four years ago. Now that the cat's out of the bag, let's hop on the GO train and make our way into Toronto for a fun couple of days in the city. Oh, that's a good price. Yeah. Well, well, welcome guys. Welcome back to Toronto. How many years has it been, Sam? <laughs> Four years. Since we made it downtown, downtown. You know, the last time we came here, I think, was when we made our guide. That's that would be embarrassing. It's crazy. been a while. That was before we like went to Korea. That's how yeah. long ago that was. But anyways, it was a really good ride from yeah. Brampton. What would you say, like 35 minutes, maybe? Yeah, it was a short ride and yeah. I mean, there was hardly anyone on the train. Yeah, it was empty. Quiet. So yeah, like 10 bucks per person, we're right downtown, we arrived at Union Station, now we're going to take you over to our hotel, which mm -hmm. is just two blocks away, very convenient because it is cold out, so <laughs> let's get going. Let's do it. We made it. We're here at 1 King Street West. Welcome, welcome. That's the surprise hotel. This is pretty awesome. So the first thing I noticed when we came in here is the upgrade that you got for us. The second thing that I really like about this place already is the view. Check pretty that out. Pretty cool. That is downtown Toronto, guys. That's as downtown as it gets. We are on, what, the 27th floor? Yeah, pretty high so, up. Yeah. Wow. It's just crazy to be back in the city after so many years. Room tour. Room tour. Before we get the room super messy, which <laughs> always happens within seconds of our arrival, I figured we give you the grand tour. Oh yeah, we have an uncanny ability to yes. mess up a place. I know, even with like a little carry-on suitcase, you'd be surprised. <laughs> you'd be surprised. Happen. So, okay, as soon as we step in, we basically have this little kitchenette area. We're gonna be here for two nights, but we wanna hit up some really good restaurants, so I don't see us cooking. No. But if you wanted to cook, have a self-catered vacation, you could, because you've got the, the elements up here. Yeah. Uh, what's this, is it an oven? What's oh, dishwasher. dishwasher. Oh, wow. A, wow. Mini, a mini dishwasher. A mini dishwasher, that's really cool. Check that out. Wow. I've never seen one like that. It's got a uh, microwave. Yeah, sink. Stove top. We've got, oh, a fridge. Look at that. And they've got plenty of cutlery, cups, dishes, plates, whatever you could possibly need. Then, if you follow me, we've got the bed. Queen size? Yeah, that's, a nice, size that's a nice bed. queen size bed. We've got a large TV if you want to watch some movies, chill out for a bit. Which we will be doing. <laughs> yeah, we should watch a movie. Some, yeah. Something festive, Christmassy. A nice little seating area over here. And then we also have a desk. Wow. Actually, for the first time ever, we didn't bring our laptops on a trip. Wow. A little getaway. Look at us. We should have. She's <laughs> connecting, huh? 
<laughs> disconnecting. I know, disconnecting for the first time. Yeah. And of course, the views, they are pretty spectacular. You can see the whole city. And let's not forget the bathroom. I haven't even seen it yet. Oh, cool. Sink large mirror they left us shampoo body lotion conditioner the works lots of towels little shower there lots of towels yeah i'd say that's that's all we need for two days yeah and the plan is to eat 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 we're gonna be at eat, restaurant hopping eat eat mm. and don't forget the most important part repeat Repeat. repeat. Eat and repeat. Yeah. Okay, so this portion of the video is sponsored by Glasses USA, who have kindly sent us some glasses to try on. They have sponsored our channel before, so whenever you see us wearing our sunglasses or editing glasses, that's where they're from. So today they sent me two pairs. Sam and I actually placed an order for three pairs each, but now with the holidays, shipping is quite delayed. So I'm gonna show you the two that arrived first, which are mine. So show and tell. So yeah, their service is super easy to use. One of the things I like about them is that you can just upload a profile photo onto their website and then you can try on different glasses to see how the shapes and colors work with your face. And then if you require a prescription, which I now do because I went to the optometrist for the first time in a very long time, but it is a small prescription. So you can upload that and also customize your glasses based on whether you want bifocal, mirrored, polarized, transition, single vision, you name it. Mine are just single vision, nothing too fancy here. But yeah, the first pair I want to show you is the Ototo Valetudo, which I have right here in my hands. These I got um, blue light blocking and I also put my new prescription on there. So these are the ones that I use whenever I'm editing video, which we're doing a lot lately. We're catching up on edits. So let me just come a little closer so you can see the frames. I really like the, the dark rim combined with the gold. I think it's super cool. And it's also got a bit of tortoise. So that's really nice. And then the next pair I wanna show you is the Ototo Stefano. These are my sunglasses. And yeah, I just thought they looked a little bit modern and futuristic. So I thought I would try something different because I tend to go for like aviator style or more of like a round lens, like John Lennon style. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I would try something different with these in black and gold. And I think they're really cool. So yeah, that's this pair. And since my third pair didn't arrive on time, I thought I would show you um, my other pair of glasses I ordered earlier this summer, which I have been using a lot. So these right here are the Muse Brookline, and these are basically my go-to glasses. Like I wear these every day when I'm in front of the computer doing emails or editing video, that kind of thing. I really like these black and gold. I seem to be drawn to black and gold. There's a lot of black and gold with everything I've shown you today. But yeah, I just think they're quite versatile. They work with different looks. And yeah, they're just really fun. So those are the three pairs of glasses I wanted to show you guys today. So if you're interested in checking out some of the glasses that Glasses USA have to offer, we're going to leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. And I'll also mention that they offer free international shipping and they also have a 14 day return and exchange policy, no questions asked. So if for some reason the glasses don't work out for you, you can always contact them and get that sorted. So that's it for the little glasses fashion show. I think Sam is getting hungry, so what do you think, Sam? Pizza time? Pizza time. Pizza time. <laughs> See you later. So, Sam, this is the place I have in mind for food. Whoa. What do you think? Holy moly, Napoli. <laughs> it's Naples style pizza. Yeah, I can't wait to have that. I mean, my goodness. We got to try some while we were in Halifax, and that was yeah. such a treat. Well, actually, you didn't. I no, did. you went out for on pizza my, on, on your own. On my own date night, yeah. <laughs> yeah, while well, you were out doing something else. And, uh, Oh, I can't wait to have some. So yeah. hungry. So, so ready for it. This place is called Pizzeria Libretto University. And it's just a few blocks away. Nice. So we'll bundle up and head so on we'll over. Waddle on over and waddle, scarf waddle. down some pizza. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. <laughs> So we made it 
to Pizzeria Libretto. Yes, and the most fascinating part about this whole dining experience is we're doing it out here in the patio. Yes. They've just basically blocked this off with a tent. There is no heating in here, guys. Mm -hmm. We are braving the elements, but has cut the wind considerably. And, and we have this oh, to keep our hands warm and toasty. You've got your gloves on right now. Yeah. So you're doing just fine. But for me, oh, this is so nice. I could almost roast a, a marshmallow over this. This is, this is date night during a pandemic when it you is. can't dine in. There's yeah. only takeout or delivery. And we're eating at like a super strange hour too. It's like just slightly after 4 p.m. in between lunch and dinner. So we're the only people here at the moment. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So I wanted to show you guys the menu. And basically they specialize in all kinds of pizzas pizza napolitanas so yeah naples style pizza yeah the margarita there's the barata marinara the pepperoni i ended up going for the diavola exactly which is spicy salami mozzarella can't wait to have that i'm fresh basil. so hungry and you got you ended up getting the special which oh a truffle pizza yeah. our, our server came over and told us about that truffle pizza and with all those good truffle experiences we had especially in croatia oh and yeah greece and other places you're like you jumped on board that one yeah we're just we placed our order we're waiting for the pizzas to arrive and we're enjoying outdoor dining in the basically a Canadian winter day. <laughs> <laughs> the pizzas are here and they look amazing. I know. I went for the truffle pizza with cremony mushrooms, lots of cheese. Doesn't that look awesome? Yeah, it looks so good. I'm so hungry. I know. So, so hungry. It's just weather. <gasps> I know. It's basically the coldest day that we've experienced since, you know, winter from. Mm. from Earlier Caramelized on. onions. Yeah. Mm. How is that's that? That's sweet. Ooh. Cheesy. I'm just gonna I'm dig on in with my hands here. And they gave us a chili oil. Yes. So good. So good. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're also warming up by eating this too. Oh. It's functional. Wonderful. Um, yours looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. As much as I want to eat it for the taste, I'm also eating it to warm up as well. <laughs> Check out these giant slices. Look at all the different ingredients I have on here. Basil to the fresh onion to the tomato. Oh, that is divine. I am in my happy place. Like, what could I want to be eating more right now than a warm pizza? Authentic Naples pizza in Toronto on a day when it's minus outside and we're eating outside. <laughs> this is awesome. Mm. And because sharing is caring, mm -hmm. we're trying each other's. Mm. What do you think of the the one I ordered? Yours is so good. So spicy, it's huh? It's so spicy, and I didn't realize mine has like a fig, a fig jam. Wow! So it's like really sweet. Yeah. So this is a perfect contrast, going from Sam's spicy to my sweet one. It's almost like a dessert pizza, yours, huh? The pizza. So which one would you choose between the two? Mm. You like them both? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're that good, huh? Mm. Okay, Sam's gonna try mine. I'm really excited to try yours. When you talked about the jam feature, oh, I was yeah. like, wow, sweet. Huh? Tell me what you think. We can do half and half if you like it. Yours is like a dessert pizza. I know. Yours is really good, wow. I wouldn't have thought to order one like that. I was sold on the truffles, that's yeah. what got me. Truffles for the win. how cold it is outside oh. we're just not acclimatized to winter yet we we had extended summer weather just a few days ago so but to console ourselves over this cold weather we stopped at a cafe so next door to the pizza place yep. there's a spot called cafe lanver yeah um so we got some cappuccinos cheers, cappuccinos. cheers. and i thought i was getting like uh, a pan of chocolate, mm -hmm. but it's a croissant with um, Nutella inside. Nutella. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think Sam's gonna want some of that. And then we have carrot cake. And Sam got a little bit of carrot cake with cranberries yes. and walnuts. That looks very good. And I think we're gonna watch a movie and just chill, get into our pajamas. Yep. Warm flannel pajamas and enjoy. 
but it was a fun evening out. It was. Yeah? It, it, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It was so nice just to go for a walk, to go have some pizza. And the pizza to, was so yeah, good. Yeah, legendary. Oh. It, was, it was also nice to see that we we talked to the person who was serving us and they said yeah. they're doing a really good um, business with Uber Eats and other things. Yeah, and, so. and they've also started selling their pizzas as frozen pizzas yeah. in supermarkets. So it's cool to see businesses kind of like evolve and yeah. find new ways to get through these Right, because times. because no industry has been hit as hard probably as restaurants. I mean, yeah. so I, it's really good to see that there's some restaurants that are able to, mm -hmm. to endure this time. We, we be rolling! Um, Action. Rolling, hanging out, hanging back out. in the room. Are we in the frame? We are in the frame. Yeah. We forgot to bring the tripod. Rookie mistake, right we, there. We, well, we've got your glasses case acting as, a, re as a rest pod. There we'll you call go. It a rest pod. Well, you yeah. know what was one of my favorite things about today? Pizza. Aside from the pizza, which was amazing, <laughs> was just getting back into the warm building because I was so oh, underdressed. Yeah. I mean, Sam went out with like a flannel. It's like minus eight outside. And I'm like, Sam, well, are you sure that's going to be enough? In all fairness, it's a wool shirt. And some people call it a shirt jacket. Okay. But when it dips to like minus eight, minus ten, yeah, not quite enough. Not quite. Not quite not enough. Quite. I yeah. was, uh, I wasn't, it wasn't quite teeth shattering. Chattering, chattering. <laughs> you know, you go like that. It wasn't quite at that level, oh, but... It was getting there. It yeah. was getting there. Yeah. But you know what? Before we left for the restaurant, I turned on the heat. Like I put it up by five degrees. Mm -hmm. So when we got back, oh, it was nice and so toasty. Nice. And yes, I borrowed a flannel. So yeah, yeah we're nice and warm and in here. Just to have those cappuccinos and a little bite to eat, mm -hmm. and we've just been chilling. And it's been a lot of fun. I'm really glad mm -hmm. we did this. We've kind yeah. of just been cooped up in basements and in small little <laughs> rooms this year. <laughs> and so. You know, this wasn't like a, a, a big trip or anything. Brampton is part of the, the Greater Toronto Area. We live in the Greater yeah, Toronto Area. We're but, just downtown right now. But it is like a different world here. Yeah. And it's nice to be able to support some industries and businesses that are, are mm -hmm. really struggling mm -hmm. in, in a responsible way right now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like just to be, you know, wearing your mask, to be social distancing, but at the same time to sort of be out in the world a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like at this point, I, I'm, I'm okay with doing a bit of that. Yeah. yeah. And one thing I've noticed is that people are so appreciative when you go to their restaurant, you go to their cafe. Mm -hmm. It's like, you can tell that they're so thankful to have customers after like months of yeah. just yeah, yes. I, 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 I feel like this year has, uh, has humbled just people and businesses to their, to their core. Mm -hmm. uh, not only that, but I think that there's just, there's, you know, people are in a mind frame right now that there's just, there's a lot of gratitude just for, you know, just for being able to, to exist and to be able to continue your business. Yeah. In a time like this, a lot of people haven't made it through. Mm -hmm. So yeah, anyway, that's, uh, uh not not to be uh, depressing or anything, but I, I just feel like it, it was a, a trip that I'm really glad that we did. Good. Yeah. I'm glad you're happy to be here I'm because happy to be it here. is so hard to like convince Sam to go into Toronto. That's why we haven't been here in years because the idea of downtown, you're like, no. Well, you know, <laughs> the thing is, it's like when we are in Brampton, it is, I think we've explained this in other videos or maybe even in this one, we're, we're like, we've already completed a big trip. So we're like yeah. getting caught up on rest, on editing, yeah. on work, on, <laughs> on just everything you can imagine getting caught yeah. up on. Uh, so, but it, it does remind me that like sometimes I feel, sometimes it's, it, it, it's harder to get motivated to do something that's so close because you take yes. it for granted. You okay, can always yes. do it. You I can do it next it. weekend. You can do it yeah. tomorrow. You don't feel that sense of urgency. Uh -huh. And that, that, you know, I can actually relate to that because I remember moving to Edmonton uh -huh. and I lived there for five and a half years. And the first time I went to West Edmonton Mall, there's this incredible water theme park there. Uh -huh. And I'm like, oh, I've got to go there. I've got to do this. And somehow I managed to put it off so much that I never actually went. The whole time you the lived there. The whole time I lived there, I didn't make it to the to the water theme oh, park. Man. So it, it was just it was always available. I could do it tomorrow. Yeah. I could do it next week. I could do it the week after. 
it just never happened never in five years yeah there, it, unless you have a date and a time and you yeah. turn it into a priority doesn't doesn't happen you know that's actually one trip that i really want to do with sam that we've kind of been talking about i'd say for the past year and a half or two mm -hmm. going back to alberta yeah. and like just reliving your life there what like 15 yeah. years ago yeah i mean gosh i left in 2005 <laughs> okay it was a little while ago <laughs> feel a little um, old right now yeah no but like i'd love to see like where you live your, yeah. where your old apartment was where you well, went to university where you work i can tell you that my my time in edmonton was the, it was the place the the city that kind of exposed me to the world and to the idea of traveling and mm -hmm. to trying new foods it was the first place it was the first city where i tried sushi where i tried thai food where i tried indian food all kinds of different cuisines korean mm -hmm. it's just like uh it's a phenomenal foodie city. Like yeah. I, I don't just mean that like a, as a as a small compliment. Like it, yeah. it might be one of the best cities for food I've I've ever been to. You could eat whatever you wanted basically. There was a great Chinatown as well too. I remember having this like amazing ginger beef <laughs> where I would like jog thirty minutes just to go get it. <laughs> go eat yeah. Food. It was that good. Uh, Anyways, yeah, it'd be cool to go to Edmonton and also nearby Edmonton. We never made it to Jasper. We never made okay. it to places. I like um, how you're saying we and I wasn't even a part of the <laughs> picture 15 years oh, ago. Oh, no, but I mean, I, we I, never I, I, I'm actually talking, I'm talking about our trip we did a year and a half ago. Oh, okay. We okay. didn't, we didn't, we didn't get any further than, uh, than Banff. Mm -hmm. And um, there's plenty to see as you go north of Banff, mm -hmm. uh, getting all the way up to Jasper. In fact, some yeah. people say that's the nicest part of Alberta. So if we get the chance, we will go there. We'll mm -hmm. also go to Calgary too. There's plenty to see in Alberta and I'd love to show you more of BC, my home province, mm -hmm. because I actually haven't done that much on the mainland. Yeah. So, <laughs> I like how, how this has turned into yeah. like a travel planning session. <laughs> and hey, since we enjoyed Nova Scotia so much, let's go visit the Annapolis oh. Valley and the South Shore. Yeah, I know. There's a lot we and want Newfoundland to see too. While we're at it. Yeah. So it that's just that's just like the wanderlust in our brains, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Honestly, we we did not expect to be in Canada this year at this point in the year. Mm -hmm. um, like everyone, everyone's had like yeah. a wrench thrown in their plans. Yes. But we're we're rolling with it. We're rolling and with it. We're getting to know our country. We are. And we're catching up on work. We're getting to know our basements. <laughs> I've been redecorating our apartment. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, that's just kind of life at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be trying to uh, basically create a perfect day here in Toronto. Yes. Perfect. And you know what? The, the temperature is going up by like, what, 15 degrees? Yeah, tomorrow it's going to be 12 degrees and I have planned Above zero. the perfect day for Sam. So I'm going to awesome. show you what that's all about. There'll be food. There'll be adventures. We'll actually do a lot more in the city tomorrow. Yes. So uh, please stay tuned for that. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video yeah. and we'll see you soon with tomorrow's adventure. Sounds good. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Thanks again for watching. If you'd like to check out today's video sponsor, Glasses USA, you'll find their link in the description below. We'll see you in the next video as I plan Sam's Perfect Day in Toronto, featuring a hearty breakfast, beautiful views of the city skyline, an island adventure, and some ice skating. See you next time!